So, Rani, another record day of COVID cases. The Premier, though, has ruled out a return to restrictions. That's right, Mariam. So the Premier, Dominic Perrette, has today said that there will be no further restrictions imposed, despite the state recording another daily uh, record for COVID cases here in New South Wales. There was, as you mentioned, 2,566 cases recorded, which is the highest daily total of any jurisdiction across Australia throughout this entire pandemic. Thankfully, there were no deaths associated with the latest reporting period and the hospitalisation numbers have been relatively stagnant too, which is also good news. But the Premier Dominic Perrottet has said that he doesn't see the need just yet to impose any further restrictions on uh, particularly the mask mandate. There's been a number of uh, people calling for a mask mandate to be reintroduced here in New South Wales, given the escalating COVID cases that we've seen. The Australian Medical Association uh, is calling for it. And there are a number of other experts who are calling for the state government to take on that recommendation. He has said that the government is monitoring the situation and they will take necessary steps if needed. Here's a bit of what he had to say. Every day we're monitoring the situation. Every day we look um, at the numbers that are in front of us, the hospitalisations in the ICU presentations, and we'll continue to take a balanced, proportionate and measured response. Uh, but this is all about taking personal responsibility and the people of New South Wales are doing just that. The government can't do everything. It's over to the people of our state. It's the people of our state that, has got us, that have got us through the last two years and it's the people of our state that will get us through the next two. The Premier Dominic Perrette earlier today. Now, Rani, has there been any further reaction to this stance? Yeah, well, there has been. So the New South Wales opposition leader, Chris Minns, has come out and recommended that the government take on uh, this mask mandate that is being called for by a number of people. He has said that he will support the government if they choose to make that decision. Uh, we've, we know that in New South Wales, there's been roughly 10,000 or more than 10,000 cases recorded here in the last five days. Um, we've had some incredibly high testing numbers. Uh, today, we saw roughly 100 and 49,000 tests uh, recorded in New South Wales. There's been huge queues uh, at these testing clinics for people who are wanting to get their results, but those results are taking some time. The uh, New South Wales opposition leader, Chris Minns, is calling for more resources for testing, and he is also calling on the Premier, Dominic Perrottet, as I mentioned there, to take on these new restrictions, given these high cases that we're seeing clear at this point that the Chief Health Officer and the Deputy Chief Health Officer are in fact advising the New South Wales Government to put in a mask mandate, particularly as we head through Christmas. I want to make it clear that we think this is a common sense uh, decision that should be made by the New South Wales Government. I also want to make it clear to the Premier that if he decides to change policy and regulation in relation to this, he can expect bipartisan support from New South Wales Labor. Clearly the Government is open to changing regulations and policies. I'm convinced that we can disseminate that information to millions of people across this state very quickly. One thing that the state government says it is pleased with is the number of people who are coming forward for booster shots. They've said that in the past week alone, there's been roughly 50,000 people who have come forward for booster shots. People are eligible for those shots from five months from their second COVID-19 jab. So there are uh, some positive moves being made in that sphere. But as you heard earlier there from the New South Wales opposition leader, Chris Minns, there is a strong call for the mask mandate to be brought back into effect, Mariam. Reporter Ronnie Heyman there with the details in Sydney.